Good time together. Uh, yeah. Half hard together. And, uh, and also we, we play some, some game before the half hard and after the half hard. And the half hard, the dinner, is a, a tradition for us to get that we are a family. And last night definitely showed that we are a family in Christ. During the dinner, during Hapa, we ate, we talked, and we did have a good time together. And Of course, when we are talking about Hapa, there are certain items that are necessary. We need to put it. We need to have vegetables. We need to have tofu. We need to have meat. Fish ball. And something else. If those items are must have. If we miss one, we feel like something wrong with this Hapa. And originally, when we were eating hot pot, we sit in the round table, so everyone can face each other, so no one will be cast out from the conversation. But when we get together to eat hot pot, we need to think about what is the purpose what is the purpose for that? In the beginning of the year, we eat hot pot together. The purpose is we want to celebrate the New Year as a family. So, this is hot pot. All the people join together, sit down, and eat. How about a dinner with Jesus? <coughs> and in the Bible it said that the dinner with Jesus is called the Lord's Supper. We say that the purpose of Hapa dinner is to celebrate the whole family, to celebrate the new year. That is the main purpose. The Lord's Supper, what is the purpose of the Lord's Supper? And today we are going to have communion here. But let us just sing. What are we going to take from the communion? What are we going to have? Bread and, of course, we don't eat the cup. We drink from the cup. And what is inside? In the past, people put wine, but now more and more people put uh, grape juice. Because we need to be integrity when we are driving. We not drink and drive, right? In the beginning, Jesus took a loaf of bread, broke it, and said, This is my body, broken for you. And then Jesus took the cup. He said, This is the blood. This is the new covenant of blood. Pour out. Do this in remembrance of me. When we are taking the, the bread, the broken bread, Jesus used that as a way to express that this is my body broken for you. This is me dying for you. He died for our sin. He died 
die for us. And then after that, he said, this is the cup of blood. Jesus' blood. When Jesus died, the body was, was broken. Essentially, the blood would come. And Jesus said, this is the cup, the new cup. Where's the cup? Covenant is the contract that we use in the more current term. It's a contract. It's a promise. Jesus said that this is a new covenant. And this covenant promised us that through this, through his blood, our sin will be forgiven. This promise said that because our sins are forgiven, we become God's people. And then Jesus said that do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. What is the meaning of remembrance of me? What is the meaning of remembrance of me? It's not only when we take the, the bread, when we drink the, the cup, it's just, okay, this is Jesus. Here. Is that the purpose of that? Jesus said, in remembrance of me, every time we take the bread, we take the cup, why we need to remember Jesus? Why would you remember the bread, the cup? When we are eating that, when we are drinking the cup, we need to remember God's love and His forgiveness of our sins. First, and then, it's a reminder. It's a reminder every time we take it. God, thank you for your cross. Thank you for your blood. When we look back to the today's Bible verses, it says that say something that we need to be doing a problem. Otherwise, otherwise, that is not good. When we are reading Taoniyas, he said that don't sin without taking this. Why? Jesus wants us to have the right attitude. We need to have appreciation, thanksgiving. When we have that attitude, we join the Lord's table. We took the bread. We drink the top and say, thank you, Lord. Prepare yourself every day, every time you join the Lord's table. Today we are going to have communion. I want you, I encourage you to think it again. Why every month we come to the front to the table? But most important thing is when we are giving thanksgiving to God, we need to understand that okay, Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my Savior. Because He is my Savior, so I have thanksgiving for taking this. Remember, we have a relationship. If we don't have the relationship with Jesus yet, it might not be a problem to join the Lord. Today, when we are taking this, I want you to think about do I know Jesus Christ? Am I seeking Jesus as my Savior? Do I accept Jesus? 
as my Savior? Do I have thanksgiving towards you? Because do I have thanksgiving to God blessing and mercy? And if you have that, when you come to a God, just give a short prayer saying that for thank you. Today, when we're taking the communion, let us just simply say thank you to the cross to Jesus Christ. And remember Jesus died for us. To remember God's blessing. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you so much for the communion you established 2,000 years ago. You said that this is my body broken for you. And this is my blood poured out for you. Because your action of love, you died for us. Our sins are forgiven. Again, we just want to say thank you. And help us in today's communion. We can remember your blessing. And a re reminder for us that our sins have been forgiven. We have received biggest gift from you. And in our communion, we can simply say, thank you. Again, just giving up, lift up everything in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs>